Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah. To be honest, it's like the fun. the magic conch. It's like a or the magic eight ball, and it's like. But with characters. What, what character am I playing today? And it's yes. like, D D D. Yeah, but here we go, game number one. Okay, this is starting Falcon with the Sephiroth. Versus Zai, here we go. Yeah, this is, I, th I really thought he was gonna go Mario, but I guess he's really trying to practice the Sephiroth right now. Okay, catches him trying to uh, do explosive flames. I thought it was really good at catching people just like jumping. I, I, I mean, I, I, it should because it's like the biggest up air in the game. Oh, is it actually? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. Look at the animation. <laughs> it is, that's fair. I, I, that's I can't fair. think of any in the game that are bigger than that. Besides the ones that have projectiles, yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. And even then. Yeah. He, oh, that's true. Even that, yeah. Yeah, it kills. <laughs> it's like what the heck? It's weird because when it sweet spots, it kills really early. But if it's not sweet spotting, it feels like yeah. it's getting hit by a wet noodle. Yeah, and the sweet spot is in the like the middle of the sword. Yeah, it's I think. the middle yeah. of the sword. Just about. He has a he has two different. Um, okay, it doesn't punish him for doing that explosive yeah. flame. Uh, Sephiroth has two different types of sweet spots. He has um, pokes have a sweet spot on the tip of the sword. Oh, okay. Slashes like F tilt and up air are a center of the sword. It's really weird. Okay. I think it's kind of interesting, though. Huh? Oh yeah, and honestly, we just that sword in general is just really really powerful. <laughs> it just shows. So that uh, Sakurai pay attention to detail with just howling, uh, how much power that this man has. Oh, and, oh my god, did he? Back. Wow, that's absolutely nuts. Whoa, we're not making it back there. Cody stole the, the defensive here. Yeah. Even though he, he took the stock, his yeah. eye came back down like with a vengeance. Yep, yep. We'll roll back and it looked like Zai was ready for that rollback on stage. <laughs> Yeah. The dash attack, invincible by the way. Yeah, it's a, it's a really obnoxious move to try to like yeah, yeah. zone out. Uh, wow, it doesn't die from the explosive uh, flame. Oh, Alright. Go for that up tilt, the forward tilt, not gonna work. Okay. Doesn't, uh, doesn't catch on that ledge. Zai's really good at mixing up whether or not he's gonna like beefy up B and go above ledge. Yeah. Or if he's gonna beefy up B to ledge. So he doesn't snap immediately. It's like yeah. a constant mix-up when he's at ledge. Yeah, he's like terrifying when he's trying to ret return to ledge. But we'll go straight back that time. He's going for the up air. I think he meant to full hop that. Should punish that, yeah. Catches him with a, uh, a single hit Nair for like a... I see him do that sometimes just when he wants to pop it up for like a better combo. Because if he just got like a normal Nair there, he probably wouldn't have got anything too good. Going really, really low, He's but then, I, yeah, then, and he could afford to do that because he had an extra stock. So, like, I, I definitely thought he was just okay. I definitely thought he was just gonna go down there and like, like drag down near him because he's done that to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he does this thing where if he knows you're gonna blade dash, he'll just nair, and you'll okay catch him to down tilt. He'll nair it and it'll be like getting semi spiked by like, like Fox Fair and Smash Four. Yeah, it's a really feels bad uh, feeling. Up, up, but that down tilt, yeah. I, I actually never seen down tilt killed before, to be honest. So, like, he's light. He also but, caught him, like, fading away. Yeah. Because he crouched perfectly under the fair. Mm -hmm. Low profiling is, like, the biggest criminal when it comes to fighting Sephiroth. Yeah. It's weird, too, because you would think that's, like, low profiling is, is exclusive to, like, some characters, but, like, with how like weird some of Sephiroth's hitboxes are, a lot of characters can just like kind of go into things. Yeah, but here we go, going into game number two of Die versus Sea Falcon on Small on Star Battlefield. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm surprised uh, neutral B went through Flare. Okay, gets a dash yeah. attack for uh, auto red auto fling the different direction. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow, okay. Ooh, I'm surprised I thought, that, was, that was a really high win box. Yeah, I thought that win box was gonna mess it up for a second. <laughs> but definitely not. Tries to air, uh, roll through the uh, auto reticle. Oh, there's a there's down tilt to up air right there. Okay, there's the grab. Oh, he actually yeah. died in on that. Dealing some. 
could have didn't follow up on it. Yeah. If you have a wing or if you're fast enough at those percents, you can still catch DIM. Ooh, okay. I definitely thought he was in the background and kill him. Yeah. That is like a 50 frame in lag move, so you should better punish it. Okay, just up he's straight <laughs> down into his face. And yeah, he doesn't like, do anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, catches him though, with yeah. his own up so. Yep. Right, good little counter right there. Using his uh, wing to kind of stall off on the ledge. Yeah, there's the back air then. Jumps in the back air. Yeah. Unfortunate. This matchup is a. Uh, it's really weird because Sephiroth kind of almost always has to keep Palu outside of his fair range. Mm -hmm. Once she gets into that that range, it's really not fun. Yeah, it's... You, you don't have the buttons to keep her off. Yeah, just Palu in general, just being really, really close to you is just not, not fun at all. And since Sephiroth strives at being far away, it's just... You can't let her get in. You can't. It's like fastest grounded move is frame 5, but if you're doing that out of shield, then like... Yeah, it's not going to be fast enough to like punish someone yeah. who's that close. Give a little punish on that dash attack. Gonna miss the fair though, sadly. The wing, here it is. Okay. That's just for auto run. I've never hit Zai with down air in my life. I swear, this man is like borderline impossible to spike. Yeah. And even if you do spike him, he just texts it. Dude, it's so nuts. It okay, doesn't punish the uh, F tilt. That's the one thing about Palu's grounded moves, is a lot of them are like really unsafe. Mm -hmm. Just because of how. Wow, uh, almost dies. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought there wasn't a duck. Uh, <laughs> they linger for so long. Like her, uh, her fair and her up tilt take like forever. Yeah, doesn't have a wing anymore. Yep. So having yeah. a, I was gonna say so having that stock that advantage, but never mind. Just fading into someone's shield and then immediately up smashing yeah. them. And if it works, it works, I'm gonna be honest. I just... <laughs> oh, I thought I was expecting a down air. <laughs> Zaya's like so unafraid to go down there oh, with you. Oh man, he, he is with these tech chases today. Zaya's, Zaya's entered like the uh, script mode. No, actually though. Okay, okay. He's been, dude, dude, he's been calling Doctor Strange, man. He knows what's happening. He uh, knows what's happening. Uh, <laughs> he sees the walk. His eye is moving. Unfortunately, moving into the back airs. Gotta find a way off the ledge here. There's a dash tag. He almost dies that Yeah, I, I, I think he might have been like, mixed, mixed up with DR or something. Doesn't punch the down slope. Cody is looking for something. Yeah, Either he just doesn't want to be near Zai at all, so he's constantly like fading away. Oh, I'd be scared seeing oh, a shield there. Oh, yep. It was good that Cody waited for that op waited for an option right there. Cause that just really, really helped him out at the if, end. If he had done that any, that roll any later too, or any earlier, that up tilt would have hit him. Yeah, it looked like Zai was going for like some kind of shield poke, maybe. It, it kind of does shield poke Sephiroth just because of how tall he is sometimes. Yeah. Um, it's weird. I learned this thing from Zai when it comes to shield poking. Is uh, even if a move should shield poke, like say it, it looks like it hits a character's head, if the hitbox connects with the shield first, it'll take that priority. Yeah. It, it, it also looked like Zai was maybe trying to catch a roll with that up, yeah. that up tilt. It, it'll catch up tilt, it'll catch spot dodge. Yeah. And it's really good at like catching Sephiroth if his shield is too low, just because it'll shield poke him for being so tall. We also have another set going on right to, right to our left, actually. Yeah. We got uh, oh, Lieutenant Waffle versus Prodigy, and then my guy, it's looking spicy. Still uh, game one. That's still oh, game one? Wow. Oh my god. Three, minute, three minutes left. Prodigy up by one stock right now, but we have another set to uh, commentate right here. Here we go. We got game number three of Zai versus C Falcon. This is a best of five. Okay. Going to town city, okay. I don't know why Zai would let Cody get this stage, but maybe he has something in mind. Maybe so, maybe so. Off oh, the air dodge sting. Oh, what the almost SDs. He was not gonna make it, but Zai knows the character better than me, so <laughs> I mean he was an inch away from SD. Yeah, it's true, yeah. 
I'm what? actually surprised I caught him just because of how like long reaching that is. Yeah, a lot of counters coming out from Zaya right now, and during, especially during this set. Okay, uh, spot dodge is the grab. So I've been playing, a, doing a really good job of like almost always getting into Cody's like discomfort range. Mm -hmm. Wow, That's the first time I've seen him do that also. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Actually, all it's, a, it's a good option, I would assume. It's a good option. It, not against Paula, though. Just oh, okay. because, like, she has the ability to just, like, throw something at you if you're doing it. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, interesting. Okay. He, like, F-tilted up close, and Paula's, like, in invulnerable F-tilt. And decided no. Yeah, that's a new one. Sakurai adding secret uh, buffs to the characters. <laughs> I think I've almost always seen that do that. A lot of her aerials, like, have insane, or, like, a lot of her moves, like, especially her tilts, have nuts priority. Yeah. In there. He finds his way down. Oh, wow. What percent was he at? Uh, I think he was at 130, but it doesn't matter if you're yeah. on town. That is true, yeah. He just looked like he killed really, really fast. Okay, nice little combo. Absol, do you want to? Sure. Oh, we're going to be switching castles right here. Okay. Jericho tagging out for Absol. Absol-tastic. Which partner? What's up? <laughs> I, was, I, I, I always have to mention that. Say it. <laughs> 100k subscribers on YouTube. Welcome after <laughs> Probably more now, honestly. 117. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we got that's the, uh, also like almost the exact percent that uh, C Falcon was at right there. <laughs> good segue. I like that. I like that. I like that. That was a good segue into the back to the back. <laughs> oh, oh, almost. Okay. okay. Good DI from Zai there. Not getting hit with the Sephiroth Classic. Right, Going to wall him out with those fares. Okay. Yeah. Gonna miss from that back air, but that nair is gonna do it. Okay. See if I could just turn to totally outrange Zai right now. Just not let him get in. Yeah. Then there is. That's what he has to do. You can't let Paolo get in or she's gonna combo you or she's gonna kill you. Yeah. Especially like, at 151. Your two options are to like stay away from as far away from her as possible or to get like way up in her face because mm -hmm. her out of shield options aren't good. Yeah, we see the rage actually playing uh, into effect there. Getting that kill with that up there. Oh my god, I think it was at like 90? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, gonna there eat the fire is. for that. It is now one stock both players. I'm just snapping. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to all teams. Oh, right. the platforms. <laughs> did he, did he, how did he wave land onto a moving The little scoop back fast. there. Yeah. That was moving so fast. No way that was planned. Okay, yeah, it was actually. Right. No anxiety. It's Zion. <laughs> Alright, those little whoop cancels. I haven't seen him do that much uh, this entire set. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, but that back there, nicely no. placed. Does not do it though. Zai, I've seen Zai win these. Zai wins these. Ah, uh, debated. There it is. Up air. Another up air. Not gonna work. He's trying to safely land. Oh, Using that massive shield on the back here. Yeah. Try and get in. All right. Oh, going for that. Okay, the down throw. What we got coming out? Okay, the air up there. Not gonna work. The wing here. Let's go, Wing. Grabbed right out of the air. And, uh, gently walk back. Yeah. <laughs> trying to measure his... He was trying to measure how far he had to go for that up air. Sea <laughs> yeah. Falcon content just, like, staying in shield, just holding back his yeah. approaches. Oh, that's dead. Yeah. The claw dash attack right there. And, like, there. what? 50... 150% I think? Yeah. yeah, just about. Certain death. Actually certain death. No surviving that right there. Yeah. yeah took her soul with that one. Jesus. So C Falcon up oh, two one right now. Yeah, the Sephiroth looking kind of nice. See how uh, game four goes now. Yep. We're going to battlefield, try flats, classic Zai pick. This is where we see him get really crazy with the warp cancel mm -hmm. most of the time. Oh yeah. This is little like playground. Now I did go O two in bracket today. Does this mean I get a, uh, I get I get a picture with someone? <laughs> Complimentary. <laughs> that, that's just I know. I know thing. there's a certain player that uh, is against O tours, and I'm sorry. But <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I kid, of course. But back to the match, though. 
both top players. I know they'll get pictures with me. Anyways, it's got to be sad to be someone like Makoto, who's never gone 0-2, who <laughs> just Yo, always wins. I'm terrified of Makoto. I hope they don't come here. Yeah. Yo, let's That's go, true. Makoto. <laughs> Shout out to Makoto. Yeah, shout out to Makoto. Best waifu in uh, Persona 5. I was gonna say best protagonist in Persona 3. Because <laughs> they're both the same. <laughs> Ooh, good guy. That, that was like a multi purpose counter right there, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. C Falcon's doing the fake out with the charge, so even if he went with the neutral B, that would have reflected Ooh. it too. Yeah, catching that down air with that, back, with that forward air. Good job on the for that. There's the fair, okay. Auto radical. Ooh, no, you are not going back to stage. Keep no, you are there. not going to stage. All right, yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. never mind. <laughs> back to the off stage you go. I'm trying to win box there. Dude, oh, the re grab, but it does not matter. Oh, little reverse, here we go. <laughs> now, Steve Dog can do the same thing that Zai was doing to him. <laughs> that's just what these players are that's like. That's actually what they, what they do, yeah. And here we go They're again. Just phenomenal, I like. This entire game so far has been uh, uh, edge guarding. Really just comes down to who has stage control. Exactly. Great parry to up smash. Surprisingly not going to kill though. Oh, catches the high Zai. recovery. A lot of people yeah. don't really call out Zai for that. Yeah. Like going like a little bit farther away from ledge. But yeah, not many people catch on to when he's going to do that. That's Exactly. Yeah. Because he, he tries to mix it up, but good on Cody for like calling it out there. That's just a sign that these two have played so many times. Like you see them catch things that like even like, you know, the top players won't won't catch these players doing, you know? Exactly. And I love how C Falcon actually timed that back air with that shadow flare going in. But it does not matter the explosive point. We'll take the stop off of the C Falcon. Yeah, this is looking not as good for C Falcon in this game compared to the other games though. Rapid job. It hurts to be stuck in a rapid job. Mm -hmm. Especially at ledge. Like yeah. if you're like if you're like your back's at the ledge. They could like do it for a solid like six seconds. You have time to like go to Wendy's or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, oh, you done yet? All right, I'm on Wendy's. Get a frosty and some fries to dip in. True. Don't forget to pay me back after you're done rapid jabbing. <laughs> He's auto reticle. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Putting on a clinic for keeping Sephiroth off ledge. You cannot come back to stage. You're not allowed. You're not high enough level. Good throw right Ooh. there, getting away from that up smash. See, Falcon's really um, <laughs> keen on jump these up smashes out. this game. What a jump call out. Oh my god. Look at this. Down throw. He called that go. jump out yeah. so hard. Damn. Nice. Knew not to go for the bear there. Yeah. That's a very ambiguous spot. Center stage, like, you never know what throw she mm -hmm. might actually go for. Yeah. There. Like, she could just back throw. Or she could, you know. You really gotta like think about what way you're gonna DI there. We got the Final Fantasy music coming oh, out though. Oh no! Well, it's not Sephiroth's theme. This is actually the theme that Sephiroth should hate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> who knows the, who picked that? <laughs> this is the theme that plays when he loses. <laughs> Anyways. But here we go. One in the game number five already. I kind of figured these two were gonna go, go to a game five. I can't even make a prediction on this, to be honest. If I had to, like, if, I, if you had a gun to my head and you yeah. asked me to predict this set, I would still say Zai probably takes it because he's made this, he's made this character for longer. And he has the experience with the character. But that's if you had a gun to my head. I still, I still can barely pick it. <laughs> yeah, see, Falcon is just known to be, like, you know, an adept at, like, Playing really well, no matter what character he's playing. It's true. He is like he's he got the fundy. He adapts to his character so well. And the fact that he plays so many is like just insane. Oh, he's going. To oh, that get down the air with. through. I mean down air. Sorry. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> All right, there it is. Catching that. Okay. Not gonna kill you. Oh, good air dodge. So the explosive that air on stage. Okay. See, Coffin just bullying Palutena whenever she gets up close right there. Like, that's what you gotta do. Yeah, really going for those shadow players I saw, by the way. <laughs> that's a back row cover. No, up Whoa. Though. Okay. <laughs> that, I was just talking about that. Center stage. You don't know what she's gonna do. Yeah, probably trying to mix up the DI there. Yeah. Maybe for a kill throw. He's like, alright, he's got a back throw. Oh, wait, what's the up throw? Oh. 
Of course he'll take it, yep. I mean, this follows, she's multi-hit galore. The multi-hit queen. Look at that multi-hit. <laughs> Wait, what? Drag down there into there into there. Yup, yup. Like, the amount of multi-hit she has, man, it's nuts. <laughs> Like, what are you automatically in there? <laughs> <laughs> that was a failed turnaround yeah. if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, I missed that dash attack. There it is, the back air. We're going for that explosive flame. Back to the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, waiting, dude. Just waiting. Ooh, catching him. I think it's the most hype thing whenever the player does nothing at ledge. It just waits for an option. I think it's so cool. <laughs> it's just so who unorthodox. Knew, who knew that waiting is like such a cool thing in this game? Oh, uh, there's the forward tilt. That was the middle of the sword. That was the thing that was super spot too. Back. Okay, we'll get caught by that. There it is. All right, last stock. Both players at the last stock. Zero percent. All comes down to this. Who's moving on to Grand's winner's side? Yep, yep. There's the Nair is coming out. Yeah. Ooh, the back air. Good little reverse. Zaya think caught on to see Falcon really uh, getting antsy with those Nairs up close. A little night Nair call out. So. They go for these fares. They're trying to wall out. Oh, the, the dash attack on shield. Not going to get punished though, of course. They're both just desperate to hit each other. Yeah, they're really just trying to get any hits they can. There it is. All right, the wing is here. Oh, we're missing the grab. Oh, that the, could ooh. be costly. Okay. I like that he waited for an option, but Zai would call that out. He's like, I know you're going to wait here. I'm going to go back straight back to stage. I'm not going to take any chances. Shield. Down smash always scares me. Whenever uh, you're holding shield, of course. <laughs> Zai got the hops. Zai got the hops. That almost did it right there. Yeah. It's like Zai tries to fish for like a little tomahawk with those hops. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, Ooh, does, the 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 version of, does the farm version of Explosive Flame. That, oh, Whoa, my gosh. Spooky. Just a couple frames away <laughs> from ending it all right there. Oh, my God. That was just a matter of timing. Damage. Waits for an option. Okay, try Go for it. Both players at oh, like last hit. He almost. caught on to like what C Falcon was doing from that approach to <gasps> shield. Oh, and the dash he, attack just barely above the ledge will do it. If he end. just did a regular like up, I think he would have made it back to ledge. But I think he was trying to call out an option or something yeah. like that. Look at this. Like, so C Falcon was always keen on like when Zai gets back to stage, Zai likes to approach. So he was just holding shield. Zai finally was able to call out the exact timing on when he jumps out of shield, and that's what sealed the set right there. Yeah. All right, guys. The moment you've all been waiting for, the Siphacon reveal is happening right oh. now. Oh, is it? We're gonna